And we're going to look at verse 20. The Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen. There are two important facts that when we read this scripture, I believe, we miss. The Bible says, Behold, I stand. We see Christ being patient. Now, I know patience, I believe for some of us, can be altogether, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Out there. Now, for various reasons, whether it's traffic, whether it's standing in the grocery store line, we all have different issues when it comes to being patient. But Amen, Christ gives us the perfect example of being patient. Mm -hmm. Because he says, I stand. <coughs> I stand at the door. Now, for some of us, being patient is a problem. I know for myself it is. I, you know, now, some people say, oh, Brother Cohen, you're a very patient person. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't. Now, other people might say something totally different. But if you take this illustration, behold, I stand at the door. Christ <coughs> is being patient with each and every last one of us. It doesn't matter right. how long it took us to come to salvation. Christ is patient. Right. He stood at the door and he knocked. And he still knocked. Now, we see persistence. Persistence. Now, it takes persistence why? Why does it take persistence? Because we're hard-headed. <laughs> we're hard-headed. The only thing Christ desires of us is us. That's it. That's all He wants is us. But we put all the garbage when you can just leave it out. All He wants is us. That's it. He desires to have an intimate and close relationship Amen. with us. Right. 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 Yeah. That's it. But, because I don't believe we're patient people, <laughs> we miss the boat. We miss the boat. We wake up every morning and we go about our routines, whatever they may be whether it's jobs, families, whatever. We go about it. And we walk out the door and we leave the most important person at the door, which is Christ. That's right. Amen. We do. We go out and we really on some self-motivation. We're on some Okay, I just have to go to work. I got to get the bills paid. I got to take care of the kids. I got to take care of the house. I got to do this. I got to do this. I gotta, everything is I, 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 I. And then we leave out Christ. Out of the course of a whole day, we forget to stop and think about Christ. We forget to stop and think about, did I pray today? Did I put on my armor? Yeah. Like Jerry said, the devil is real. Yeah, right. Amen. That's right. See, our, a question for me, how can you live in the world and not be a part of the world? Simple. Christ. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like you put on your shoes, just like you put on your pants, your skirt, whatever it is you put on, 
You put Christ on the same way. Amen. Each and every day. You put him on. Now, imagine this scenario. We live in a desert, but let's go to the hottest desert there is. And here it is. We're walking. As we walk, we've got a backpack. And in this backpack, we've got a bottle of water, we've got a compass, and we've got a map. Well, pretty soon, this backpack gets heavy. We also forget that we've got a backpack. You become weary. You become thirsty. You become tired. And all of a sudden, you stop. And you realize, let me put this take the backpack off. You take the backpack off. And then you look in the backpack, and you open it, and you see you have a map, a compass, and a bottle of water. Now, of course, this water is to what? Quench your thirst. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at the map, and you look at this compass, our map is right here. Amen. Amen. That's right. Our compass is the Holy Spirit. Amen. But yet we leave these things at the door. So my charge to you guys will be this. As patient and as persistent as Christ is and was with us, we should be the same way Amen. on a day-to-day -day basis. Amen. Yes, sir.